Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Mark and Tower, I'd like to welcome you all to the occasion of their very special and intimate wedding. My name is Aoife, and I'll be the celebrant for today's ceremony. Mark and Tower have asked that if you're taking photographs today, please be mindful of the aisle and Evelyn and her camera. Please be upstanding for the arrival of the bride. <laughs> Welcome, Tara, and what an arrival that was. If you could see, if you could have seen Mark's face, it was priceless, but I'm sure your camera has picked that up perfectly to watch back. All of you have shared, supported, and contributed to their lives in the past, and by witnessing their ceremony here today, Mark and Tara ask that you share in their future also. This ceremony today is about love. Love isn't just a word, it's an action. Love isn't something you say, it's something you do. Love is genuine, open, compassionate, and kind. Love doesn't know space nor time nor look through jealous eyes. It means the world to them both that you're all here today to witness their marriage and they would like to thank everybody who has travelled today to be with them. We will also like to welcome all the guests tuning in in the very modern online platform. So hello to everyone at home. So I now invite you to leave behind your worries and concerns of everyday life and join us in this celebration of love. Well, we finally got here. <laughs> it's been a turbulent year and a half to say the least but clearly a global pandemic could not stand in the way of you two becoming husband and wife Mark and Tara first met in their first year of college so have been friends for over 10 years they both told me they liked each other for a really really long time but never acted on it as they didn't want to ruin such a good friendship apparently Jamie said they were like tectonic plates slowly moving towards each other in the years as, fr as friends they had many adventures and outings with the gang it was after one of these weekends, not long after Mark's 30th birthday celebrations, that Mark was dropping Tara home to the home place of Capoquin, which he did quite regularly. But this time, when he pulled up outside, a very nervous Mark turned off the engine and bashfully tried to get the words out to tell Tara how he felt. He mumbled, uh, I have something I've been meaning to ask you. And Tara turned to him and said, Stack your hands yeah. on top of each other. Like, yeah, paddock, yeah, like that. And can I now please invite Kay and Therese up? And one by one, they will place ribbons over Mark and Tara's arms. If you want to stand in front there. If you go and go with the first one, take turns. These are the hands of your best friend, full of love for you that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your future together. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help to hold your family as one. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving that same unspoken tenderness with just one touch. This ceremony today is an old Irish Brehan law and it's where the term tying the knot came from and it outdates both state and religious marriage. I'm now going to tie it nice and tight, so you can't get out of it. You get a round of applause, please, for the mammies. Good and tight. Good and tight. Yeah. Well, in Brehan Law times, you were tied together for three months before your wedding, so, you know, <laughs> I think you can manage three minutes-ish. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Now as you stand there, really let your feelings register in your heart and in your mind. We all know that your visions for the future are not identical, but it will always be complementary. John Lennon once said, 
A dream you dream alone is but a dream. A dream you dream together is a reality. And today, that reality starts now. Now it's time for the serious bit. He's ready? Yeah. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment to be in many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher. For you've learned so much from each other these past ten years. Shortly you shall say a few words that will take you over the threshold of life and things between you will never be quite the same again. For after today you will say to the world that this is my husband and this is my wife. Do you mark hereby state that you've read and understood the list of civil impediments to marriage and you sol do solemnly declare that you believe that there is no impediment of kindred or affinity or of lawful hindrance to propose marriage with Tara? I, I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you had very little to read. I do. I do. Do you, Tara, hereby state that you've read and understood the list of civil impediments to marriage and you do solemnly declare that you believe that there is no impediment of kindred or affinity or, or propose, excuse me, uh, of lawful hindrance to propose marriage with Mark? I do. It is now that I, Aoife Hurley, in accordance with the rights of the Spiritist Union of Ireland, do solemnize this, your marriage, in accordance with the laws of this country. Before you, Mark and Tara are joined together in my presence and the presence of all you witnesses. I am bound, as you know, to remind you publicly of the solemn, the serious and the binding nature of the relationship in which you're about to enter. Marriage, as most of us understand it, is a voluntary and a full commitment of two people to each other. It is made with the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others and is entered into with the desire, the hope and the firm intention that it will last a lifetime. Mark, do you take Tara in marriage to be your wedded wife, to share your life as your friend, your lover, your companion, to grow together in spirit and truth, forsaking all others? I do. Nice and loud. I do. And you, Tara, take Mark in marriage to be your wedded husband, to share your life as your friend, your lover, your companion, to grow together in spirit and truth, forsaking all others. I do. <clears throat> Wedding bands are the perfect circle, having no beginning and no end, but we all know that these rings do have a beginning. Rock is dug up from the earth, metal is liquefied in a furnace, hot metal is poured into a mould, cooled and then painstakingly polished. Something beautiful is made from raw materials. And love is like that. It has to be worked at. It's a process of making something beautiful where there was once nothing at all. Are you ready now to give and accept those symbolisms of love? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to slide your hand <clears> out? <throat> yeah. Shane, do you have the rings ready, please? So, Mark, you're going to take Tara's first. I don't mind. You're going to put it halfway down her knuckle? And so you're right. You're okay to start. Mm -hmm. Tara, the last seven years. Tara. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Nice and loud. Nice and loud. 
Tara, the last seven years have been the happiest of my the life. Happiest of my life. I was planning on reading this. Yep. Can I? You flip it around. I'll yeah, do you say? Yeah. If you just flip it around, I'll read it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Tara, the last seven years have been the happiest of my life, and have meant more to me than I can ever possibly express. I love you more than I ever thought possible, and I, ca I can't picture my life without you in it. I can't wait to continue on our adventure together, and to build our future with each other. Push the ring on. Yeah. Go on, keep going, keep going. Yeah. It's on there. Excellent. Excellent. And Tara, you take Mark's ring? Do you want to read yours? Sorry. Nothing. Stop it. Mark. Mark, we continue to build our lives together. Just here. Mark, as we continue to build our lives together and to go on more adventures, I never have to worry about getting lost because you are home to me. No matter where we are, when I'm with you, I'm home. Do <laughs> you have to stick a butter? Yeah, it's a stick of butter in, the, yeah, in, the, in my pocket. There you go. <laughs> it's nearly there. No, nearly there. Definitely not that's coming never off. coming off. Never coming off. No, no. But well, that would be the hope. That would be the hope. Before I pronounce your husband and wife. Oh, well, go on, give them a clap. Yeah, it, was, it was an effort. <laughs> Before I pronounce your husband and wife, there's just one more thing I want you to do. Your wedding day is one that seems to fly by. It's a day filled with emotion friends, rings and dances. Many people remember how fleeting their own wedding day was. So I want you now to take a few seconds to look into each other's eyes and think about the happiness you're feeling in this time and in this place. Ladies and gentlemen, can you all please be upstanding as I have the greatest pleasure in presenting to you the newlyweds, Mark and Tara. Woo! <laughs> Ready? And away you go. <laughs>